Sorry, a uh, quick uh, recipe for you all that I think you will enjoy. It is um, designed to be uh, using ingredients that are in my pantry and I'm trying to get rid of. <laughs> um, and hopefully will inspire you to make something, something zesty tonight. But for this recipe, I'm going to be using um, a sweet potato that I'm going to peel and chop. I'm going to be using Three cloves of garlic that I'm going to peel and chop. You could use garlic powder, however, if you don't have time for that. I just don't have garlic powder and uh, I need to use up that garlic. And then you're also going to use an entire white onion. You could probably use onion powder as well if that's something that you're aiming to use up. But I've got this onion here, so he's going in. And then I'm going to be using this um, 14.5 ounce can of no salt added uh, petite diced peeled tomatoes that are in tomato juice. I'm going to add the entire can. I'm also going to be using um, a 15 ounce can of no salt added tomato sauce that um, I got these on a, at Kroger and um, I think I had like 25 cents cash back canned tomatoes from Ibotta and these were on sale on Kroger. So I think I essentially got these for free at one point, but anyways, enough Ibotta bragging. Speaking of tomatoes, I'm gonna be using um, roughly two tablespoons. Um, I will put the, FYI, I'll put the uh, ingredients and what have you down below for you guys. But I'm gonna be using some tomato paste just to, just to kind of thicken it up and I wanna use up the rest of this tomato paste. So that's going in. Seasoning wise, you definitely do not need all of these seasonings. This is everything that is in, <laughs> in um, Italian seasoning pretty much. I just have all of these and I wanna use and use and, and, and move on. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting in some sage, um, a little bit of thyme, oregano, some parsley, and some rosemary. And then the, the all-star, um, the protein in this, the main ingredient is, you just need the equivalent of two, um, two 14 and a half, 15 ounce cans drained of any kind of bean of your choosing. These look like black beans, but they're not. These are the red beans that I get at um, H Mart. Um, they're like azuki beans. Um, and this is what they look like dry. Aren't they pretty? They're really pretty. But FYI, I mean, you can totally use canned beans here, just rinse them. But these in the Kosari, all I did, I made these um, yesterday. It took a total of 12 minutes, very minimal time. All I did was rinse them. I rinsed a cup of them and I put them in the Kosari with six cups of water and I put it on the, be on the bean setting for five minutes. I'll describe down below in the description box. Um, and I had the beans uh, cooked up very, very quickly. And here's how much it made. So quite a bit, just from one cup of dried beans. But like I said, you can totally use canned beans. I just don't have any. Uh, I've got the dry goods and Kosari makes it 
makes it really fast with the dry beans. But um, this recipe, like I said, will be in the Kosari, but you do not necessarily need a Kosari. You could use any pressure cooker of your choosing. You could make this on the stove and just let it slow cook. You could also do this in um, you know, your own pressure cooker or crock pot slow cooker. But I'm gonna, so I'm gonna get started and I'm just gonna peel and chop up some of my ingredientes. All right, so I'm just peeling my sweet potato here, but I realized that I cut into this recipe really quickly from the intro, similar to how I did last week. I think you guys kind of enjoy it that way, but just a little update while I do this on my week. It is going really well. We are in the last legs um, of a crunch for the research project that I'm working on. And so I have been laser focused at the computer trying to uh, trying to get some of the last data in and, and figured out. So it's really exciting. Obviously I can't talk about, talk about it or the results or anything, but um, it is exciting stuff. So I have been, I've been hawkeyeing it uh, with that for the past uh, roughly 36 hours. <laughs> but fun career update kind of thing, I guess you might say. A, a bit of a disappointment, but um, I got contacted yesterday, uh, yesterday morning, really early in the morning, asking if I would be available to go on Sirius XM radio for an interview for the research that I published uh, uh, towards the end of last year, I think it was. Um, they wanted to interview me about the results and talk about it. This was a paper that I published looking at the inaccuracies of health information on YouTube. And, uh, YouTube is the source of information that patients access and what kind of information they're getting. But long story short, sadly enough, they could only interview me at some like time that just conflicted with my work schedule. I'm just going quickly here. <clears throat> You can use any potato you want, but I love sweet potatoes. I really, really, really adore, adore, adore those Japanese purple potatoes. They are, they are my jam. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go to H Mart this week because of my time crunch. H Mart's a little bit far out of my, out of my uh, radius. I have to drive a little bit further. And, uh, But um, you know, after I finished my after I finished my um, jackpot candle, you guys saw the the, the pretty Swaros, Swarovski necklace that I got. After I finished that, I went ahead and got some more of those Anjou soy candles. I got some of the little votives. That's what I'm burning. Um, that's what I was burning uh, just now. I just lit it up. They smell so good. I have to say, as far as the soy candles, they um, they do a really nice job. If you like soy candles. I liked the jackpot soy candle a lot. I thought, thought that the fragrance was really wonderful. But comment below. I was really nervous to, I was really nervous to, um, to take out my charm prematurely. Um, in doing so, that metallic wrapper kind of made the city residual. So, for those of you who use jackpot candles, that was my first good experience. But for those of you who have used jackpot candles, do you pluck out the charm? Um, as soon as it's accessible and invisible, or, or do you let the candle burn down as I did? I, I really want some feedback, because I liked that candle a lot and would totally purchase it. I think you can get them on Amazon. Um, it was a gift sent to me, and I love it. Um, and I'm wanting, they have a ton of really nice sounding fragrances. I would love to, I would love to try. All right, so moving right along, there is the sweet potato, the garlic, and the onions just chopped in there with, with no, with no uh, care to the size or shape because all this is gonna cook down. So I'm just gonna dump in my legumes. Woohoo! Yeah, this, this meal is really easy and really cheap, okay? I don't even need a can opener with these Kroger cans. Um, These are BPA-free cans, by the way, for those of you curious folks. The other thing that I like about this recipe is it's pretty low added salt. I like that. I don't like salty, salty foods. It's kind of odd though. I love salty snacks like salty pretzels, salt, you, you all know I love saltines. But when my food is salty, it just bothers me to no end. 
Um, I find that, you know, restaurant food here in the U.S. in particular, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dump with, with no regard for, with no regard for, uh, for cookies here. Restaurant food here in the United States, um, is very, very salty. Very salty. All the young kids now, when they say they're grumpy, instead of saying grumpy, they say salty. <laughs> okay. That's, it's kind of a cute word, right? A little sage. A little thyme. This is the kind of thing they love, love to put in skincare products. Thyme. Thyme extract. Like. They love to take foods and try and get you to put them in your on your face instead of eating them. It makes, you know, no sense. All right. And let's just use up the Cento here. And then we need some liquid in there um, so the Kosari doesn't get angry. So I'm just going to pour some water into this uh, can here to get the last of the tomato sauce out. So that is, uh, that is one, that is 15 ounces of liquid, which is more than enough to make Kosari happy. And so I'm just going to... Just gonna swirl everybody together because I feel like it's nice to introduce everybody before I put the lid on and, and get them get them cooking together. But you don't need to do this if you're really pressed for time. It, it will just cook the same. But I don't know. I feel like I need to I feel like I need to introduce everybody that it just works better. <laughs> Depending on what seasonings you use in this, you can make it like a chili. You can also use. You can also use these dried green, these um, diced green chilies, like the hatched green chilies, if you want to make like a chili chili and use more cumin spice, it, cumin, things like cumin, uh, chili powder, uh, chili powder, Tabasco, all that kind of stuff you could put in here instead. But this is going to be kind of Italian themed because that's what I'm trying to use up. I'm trying to use up the taste of Italy. All right. All right, so I'm just gonna put the lid on the Kosari and de definitely put this, this guy down. I accidentally forgot to put him down the other day and I was like, ooh, something's smelling good really fast. And then I, I was like, oh, something smells kinda, kinda, kinda campfire-esque. And it, it was, it was cause I had, I had forgotten to put this down. Um, it didn't wreck the Kosari, it's still functional. I've used it about six times after that error, but uh, don't do that. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna, Plug it in, and uh, don't worry, I realized my error pretty quickly into, into it, so um, I didn't cause any disaster. But I don't, unlike old school uh, pressure cookers, I, I don't think these have that risk of the lid exploding. I think that they are, they are manufactured and engineered in such a way that that doesn't happen, but I don't want to speak too soon. I do know that Instapot, you guys were telling me, was recalled. So, um, so far I haven't had any problem with the Kosari. My mom got an Instapot and has not had any problems with it either. So, anyways, moving right along, I'm just going to put this on. I'll put the settings down below for you guys, but I'm just going to put it on beans chili. gentlemen zoodles this is my dinner tonight zoodles with the uh, red bean I'm calling it kind of a bolognese if you will red bean bolognese topped with some nutritional yeast and some shelled hemp seeds kind of a vegan parmesan dusting if you will this looks fantastic I can't wait to dive in because I'm hungry but look how much it made yeah, I made like a massive thing of it, so I just have it here cooling in this Pyrex doodly doddle. Um, and then I'll just put it in the fridge, and your girl's got meals for four days now, counting today. So I'm gonna eat this up. This is uh, the uh, equivalent of two, two zucchinis, um, which some may think is a lot of zucchini, but I really like it, so go big or go home. But uh, yeah, I use my OXO spiralizer. I love that thing. Most people, when they graduate residency, they buy a big shiny car. Rookie mistake. A, a more sound investment is in an OXO spiralizer. So I love mine. I've had many, uh, many cheapy doodles in the past, and the OXO one so far is the best, 
best one. But anyways, like I said, I'm gonna eat this up. I will put the recipe and deets on settings for Kosari down below. But if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.